Welcome to a high-level overview of Brocade SanNav Management Portal 2.1. Upon successful login, we land on the predefined default health summary dashboard designed to provide a general health overview of SAN entities while also serving as a launch point to additional functionalities. By viewing switch status, we can explore additional actions like launching into the newly redesigned web tools interface, where one can further configure switch ports as well as gain insights into the health status and current utilization of the switch. Also, make use of the widgets allowing users to view additional detail around hardware status and events on the switch of interest. Back in SanNav, when taking a look into device health, we present the user with additional details around why the entity is in a degraded state. In this case, the host is experiencing high utilization and lacks redundant paths. Health is calculated on a predefined set of thresholds and can be personalized if the environment requires it. Entities can also be launched into topology view, where it can further be expanded to show switches, devices, and ports, in turn introducing additional launch points. Context-based topology allows us to filter by any device and visualize the environment from its own perspective. In this case, a storage port, revealing its available communication paths to zoned hosts. Taking a step back into dashboard view, we can choose to either view user-created or predefined dashboards. Launching into the network port traffic conditions dashboard visualizes the monitoring of congestion and oversubscription transitions for all ports in the fabric. By investigating such ports, SANNAV provides additional troubleshooting guidance by pre-selecting relevant metrics to be correlated. Users can also view historical data, related ports being affected, as well as extract and investigate flows currently traversing the port to further help identify the root cause. Moving into inventory, SANNAV provides predefined filters to help easily identify entities of interest, as well as managed outer learn flows and flow collections. In addition, continue to make use of custom filters and universal search for quick device identification throughout the management platform. Landing on the events page, we are presented with all events and alerts from any discovered entities as well as from the management server itself. Note that advanced filtering and search can also be applied here. By expanding events, we can view probable causes and expose additional functionality from the drop-down menu. The Violations tab consists of alerts triggered by thresholds that have been exceeded on either ports or flows being monitored by maps. We can then expand the violation as well as pursue further investigation. By launching Investigation Mode, SANNAV provides troubleshooting guidance via the pre-selection of both relevant metrics and in this case, the involved flow exceeding the defined thresholds. Users can then begin to correlate available metrics and or violations for root cause analysis. Lastly, we land on the SANNAV settings and configuration section, where users, for instance, can come to discover additional fabrics, manage FOSS versions, and further configure the management server. We will now conclude the high-level overview of Brocade SANNAV Management Portal version 2.1. Thank you for watching.